How's it going, everybody? Hudson Hog coming at you from the Hudson Hog Test Kitchen here. Just hanging out with Mr. Lonnie Mac on the YouTube. He's great. Check him out. You love Stevie Ray. You love Lonnie. That was like his biggest, uh, biggest influence. You listen to him, you get good like him, and then you get good like Stevie. And we all know how good Stevie was, right? So, today, doing something very special, very near and dear to my heart. It's a Hudson original. And, uh, it's just a fatty. Could roll a fatty, not that kind of fatty. Maybe later we'll see how the day goes. But, uh... Yeah, you just need a few things here. You need a pound of bacon. Get uh, get your weave on here. I don't know if anybody's ever done a bacon weave before. I think I seen Gordy uh, do one. He's got a he got a tight weave going on. This bacon's pretty weak. Be nice if you could open up a pack of bacon and inspect it before you purchase it. Anybody else notice you get chinched a lot on bacon? I know I get chinched a lot. It's a gang with his old point eights with a pound of bacon. Bacon weave isn't too hard. I'll give you a little gander here in a second. How's everybody doing today? Good, I hope. Hope you're all uh, happy and hungry and eating good. And, oh, I missed one here. This could be a little tight. I don't really... Uh, don't really like what's going on here. This is a pretty shitty bacon, actually. Sorry if I'm a little groggy. I'm just waking up. I have my coffee. I'm having a beer now. Like a good boy does on his days off. So, anyways, this is uh, this is the Hudson original, or at least I like to think so. It's the Turkey Club Fatty. She's a, a staple at my fantasy football draft. I have to make it every year along with my uh, atomic buffalo turds. We'll get to those another day. Don't really have time to make those. Nor are the resources. So. Oh, this YouTube playlist sucks. Still having my radio dilemma. I don't know if I'm gonna get Sirius or Spotify. I think I'm gonna go with Sirius. Joe will be happy. You're right, Joe. I think I like Sirius. I always like Sirius at Joe's Garage. So I think that's uh, well, that's gonna go down. See, it's kind of sucks. My camera crew's not here today, so it's kind of tight. To show you what I got going on with this weave here, let me wash my hands real quick. I'll give you a little bird's eye view. Quick pause for the cause here. Uh, if it's not tight, it's not right. You got that right, brother. I miss hearing you say that. How many days till Christmas? I need to know. I miss hearing that on the radio. Still on the lug tread. It's good. Wets the whistle. Wets. I always thought it was like wet, but it's like wet. W H E T. Never realized there was a difference there. You whetted your appetite. Got some uh, Cracker Barrel Swiss. It's only the finest here in Hudsonia. I'm sure there's better. Uh, got some ground turkey here as well. The maple leaf kind. Maple leaf ham, black forest ham, some slices. And then the um, PC bacon. It's, a, it's good bacon. I buy the low sodium shit just because it's. Bacon's. This is all together salty. Salty enough. There ain't nothing healthy about it. That's for damn sure. 
So anyways, I'll give you a little little look here. See that? Got a nice little weave. See what you do? You just fold up every opposite end. And then uh, you take a little slice of bacon here. Try to do this one-handed. See? And you pull that over like that. Isn't that sexy? So sexy. See, and then once you got that side, then you pull this side up. Hey, just like that. Look at that! Isn't that a thing of beauty? Okay, I'm gonna put that back down. I got shit to do. So good. My little head bob. Everybody knows my story about the head bob, I think. When Mrs. Hudson caught me on the uh, on the back patio, rocking out. I had my little hibachi on the table. And uh, I just I had a couple beers. I was feeling good. You guys rocking out to some uh, Rod Stewart, I think it was some, some hot legs. And uh, tapping my tongs on the table. Getting my little my little white guy jig on here. And when I heard a big bang on the, just like that, on the sliding window. And I looked back and Mrs. Hudson was watching me. She called me fucking loser and laughed at me and walked away. That was one of my prouder moments. I guess it was. It's a pretty funny story. I, I like that one. I tell it a lot. It's good. Just gonna throw this out here. Again, I have no idea what I'm doing. I don't claim to know what I'm doing. I just know what I make is all right. Everybody tells me it's good. So now we got a fine ass weave here. Okay. I'm gonna wash up here again real quick. My phone's acting up. I know a little dead air. I know dead air isn't good. Rock and Rod used to always tell us that. When he used to be at the filling station with us every Friday night. There we go. Yeah, I know I squint a little bit. It's hard to read this shit up close. Two out of three days until Christmas. Get out the Canadian Tire and buy your LED light to save this world one light at a time. I think that's how it goes, isn't it? Okay. So I'm going to dump my uh, ground turkey lurkey out here. Grab another mouthful of the good large frosty lager here. Is this lager or ale? Ale. Lagerdale. Holy mind fuck there. How do you do that? Okay. So I got my ground turkey here. It's going to... It doesn't look like it's going to fit. But it will. Or sorry, fill the, the crevice. Keep it clean. Don't need to get dirty here. I know there's some... We got a few uh, younger people out there. No, this, this this is probably one of my favorite things to make. Everybody loves it. It's delicious. It's good. It's just like a bacon wrap meatloaf, pretty much. Right? Again, it looks like Gang got a hold of this uh, pound of turkey here. She's a little, a little tight. It's a .8 count. Bringing back some old memories here. You don't like my fatty? You can chop off my head. Remember when he used to say that all the time there, fellas? Mr. Gangstar, be nice to see him. Okay. Well, every once in a while, the gods present us with a challenge. Today that challenge is shitty bacon and a tight count of ground turkey. But, like, uh, my good buddy, Mr. Kyle Kolenko says, in the army, there's only forward advancement, and that's what we do in the kitchen here in Hudsonia. We adapt, we overcome, we eat. Yeah, that's a really tight count. That's all right, it's gonna make a good, good tight weave here. I'm not as worried about the bacon count now. Could be a bit of a blessing in disguise. So there we go. Slap it a turkey, slap it. So yeah, got that going for us here. 
gonna wash up again because the turkey and pork you got lots of shit that can go wrong so you don't want to contaminate none. Got my wood chips soaking. Let's give you a little gander at that. I don't know how good you can see that there. I don't want to make a mess. Them soaking long enough. Look at that. Got some nice apple, some nice hickory. They give that some nice, uh, nice flavor. All that shit goes good with turkey. All right. So now we got some paprika. Sprinkle a little bit of that onto the dirty bird here. Be generous. You don't need to go too bad shit crazy with it. Especially when pepper is too spicy for your wife. I know, the struggle is real, people, but I love her. She keeps me grounded, keeps me happy. Happy, 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 happy. I heard that in a while. A little bit of garlic powder, right? I'm gonna put a little bit of salt, not too much so, because the bacon is gonna be salty. Uh, you skip the ground mustard today. Ground mustard is usually a staple in good smoked food. A little garlic salt. It's not as bad as, uh, not as bad as the kosher, or not kosher, uh, sea salt. We always use sea salt. It is the official salt of Hudson Hog Enterprises. All right. I don't know if I got anything else I want to expose this thing to. Should I just kind of bring it here sometimes? Oh, a little bit of the, this is good shit. I, uh, I cleaned out the cook nook in Rishabuktu, New Brunswick, last time I was there. Literally, this shit's good, summer savory, hard to find up here. I have no idea why. Maybe I should look into dealing it. Because it's very, very tasty stuff for poultry. Give that a little bit of love. Oh yeah, they had like a whole row at the cook nook. I just went and bought it all. They even sell it in like little baggies and stuff and everything. It's kind of, it's kind of funny. It's a cool little place. I have to go clean it out again this year. Oh, so good. All right, I got my little, uh, little barbecue tray. These little babies are key. Keep the mess off the grill, right? Which I gotta go fire up here in a second. I usually do this in my smoker, but being on nights, Shit is fucked up right now. My internal clock has gone haywire. It's like, uh, it's like that clock in Back to the Future got struck by lightning and just stopped working. That's what my brain needs doing right now. All right, so next, do I want to put anything else on there? I don't think so. Ah! Oh. I <laughs> jumped in my hand just like that. Look at that, eh? Who we got it there? Hoser, you're watching! No way! Love you, babe. Hope I'm doing you proud right now. Behind every good man, there's a woman rolling her eyes. She's probably doing just like the emoji that she sends me all the time. The hand on the face. I never had my wife watch live before. That's pretty cool. What's up, Greg? Fred? How you doing, man? We got there. Okay. So we're gonna put the Swiss down. I'll show you here once I get it all down. These packages pretty work out, or pretty well work out, just perfect for one of these. Then once you get the cheese, you can kind of squish it out a little bit more too. Sorry. All right. Wow. Tight ass count with the cheese. What the hell is going on here? That's what I get for going to Wally Mart, eh? I don't know. So now, I'm going to take the ham. I'm oh, sorry, I'll give you a, a gander here at this. See? There we go. Got all the cheese laid out. Uniform fashion. Mm-hmm. 
You're going to take the ham, lay that down on top of that. You can probably do the ham first. I made one of these in a while. I actually, to be honest, don't remember exactly how I did it last, uh, the last few times. But I think this is going to give it a nice little... Actually, I, I usually put the cheese uh, last. But I'm going to do this just to have like a nice little cornucopia. There's a word that doesn't get used too often. Good word, too. Alright, so I'm just going to put that hand down. Wow! What is up with this? Everything is challenging me today here. God, you're angry. Probably gonna squeeze another one in tomorrow, too. Just listening, not watching. Okay. I know you love the sound of my voice, babe. I told you, folks, the naked serenades. She, like, forces me to do that every Friday night at home. Get the candles out. See, she's rolling her eyes right now. I know she is. Maybe I'll serenade you guys. Maybe tomorrow. We'll see. Maybe. I haven't actually picked the guitar up a whole lot lately. It's I miss it. I gotta gotta dust off the chops for when we go to New Brunswick. Oh, I know Bernie's gonna want to take me for a jam, and I cannot wait to go for a jam because I didn't jam last time, and that is most dubitably happening. Okay, so we're all assembled here. I don't know what else I'm gonna throw on. Wash my hands again real quick. Why I don't really know, but. Cleanliness is next to godliness, they say. So this is this is huge doing this. This is this is probably apparently my go-to. Like I know I'm the barbecue guy. I usually get stuck cooking when I go to people's houses, and I'm cool with that. I love that. It's very very flattering that people like my cooking that much. If I didn't have a, a wife and kid and responsibilities, I might. Think about going back to cooking or going to cooking school, but I don't really think so. I like doing my own thing. It's uh, way too disciplined for me. My discipline is my lack of discipline. So I like to think. Bit of a hillbilly gourmet here, I guess. I know I barbecue a lot. I do lots of good oven stuff too. We'll get to some of that. If, I, if I'm not cancelled by the time the colder months get here. I got a nice little seafood bake. I might make uh, maybe next week. Okay, now I gotta get you a little closer here. I know y'all are gonna miss my pretty face. I don't know how good you can see, because all I see is the comments when I look, so I don't really, I think you can see. I don't know, is that? Can you see? Okay, I think we're good. I'm not going to season that up anymore. Let's give you one more look here. See that? So we got bacon, cheese, ham. It's like a little melting pot of deliciousness, I guess. Oh, and I got I forgot to mention this in the first place, too. See the saran wrap? This is a key right here. It's like... Uh, I don't know. You ever like, from my younger years of course, rolled a joint with like a bamboo mat? It's kind of like the same thing. If you suck at rolling, you can still roll something pretty badass when you got one of them things. And that's what I'm going to do here. I'm just going to pick this up. Tuck it in. I kind of undershot a little bit here. See, you fold that up like that, right? Again, this is all gluten friendly here. The cheese says so, the cheese doesn't lie. See, you get that all nice and tight. If it's tight, I'm sorry, if it's not tight, then it's not right, Mr. Blackmore would say. Mm, look at that bat right there. Whew. Actually, Mr. Blackmore is pretty much why I got into doing all this. I remember he used to use his smoker all the time, and uh, I thought it looked pretty cool. I 
That's pretty much the reason why I started smoking meat. Shut up, Chris, not like you do. Bunk bandit, I know you're thinking it. So there we go. You just want to kind of tuck in the ends here a little bit. Not my finest weave, but not the finest bacon I've ever come across. I know they say a true craftsman never blames his tools, but... Scotty Deer, there's my number one fan. Good to see you, buddy. You and Hannah and apparently uh, Greg. I think you guys uh, have a bit of a rivalry there for that. So there we go. It's a tight weave. I did the best I could with this bacon. This really was shit bacon. It might be time to start. Does anybody know where to get good bacon? Like good bacon and not, well, I guess. You got to pay if you want the good stuff. The thick cut, the good, good, good stuff is what you're supposed to use. It's too cheap. I don't know. Maybe if I had better leadership skills, I might be able to afford the good bacon. Ha <laughs> ha. I'd sneak that in there. All right, fatty is ready. I wash my hands one more time here. Wash, 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 clean, clean, clean. Loving the Lonnie Mac. Check him out, people. You, you love Stevie Ray. You love the blues. He is good shit. He passed away just last year. He's got a great Oreo cookie blues. The man loved his Oreos. Okay, so, there we go. That is the bacon wrap fatty right there. Bask in its splendor and awe. It's beauty. That really is a terrible weave. But again, that was the bacon. It was really weird. It was like cut fat on the end. But in the middle, it was really, really thin. I don't know. Well... We got the pit all fired up. I'm gonna go throw this son of a bitch on here. Give it like about an hour at 400 maybe. Usually I do it in the electric smoker for about two hours at 275, but I'm a little pressed for time today. I got an hour, so I'm going balls to the wall. Hammer down, baby. Uh, we're gonna go about 400 for about an hour. That should should do. That will do, donkey. That will do. I'll give you guys a little, little finished product uh, video or picture when I'm done. That's all I got for now. And I'm here to help. I miss hearing that as well. I miss you, dude. You have to uh, pop in for beer next time you're at this way. Smoke some meat, drink some beer. All right. You guys all be excellent to each other, be good, and I'll be back in a little bit. Take care.